is Fergie's tweet storm a swipe at Meghan for upstaging Eugene D with baby news at her wedding? Duchess furiously posts pictures from daughter's big day, moments after news of royal pregnancy is announced. Princess Eugenie's mother today tweeted a picture of her royal wedding outfit at the exact moment the Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced they were having a baby. Kensington Palace officially revealed the pregnancy at 8.40am this morning. On what is the 59th birthday of Eugenie's mother Sarah Ferguson, Duchess of York. And at that exact time of the announcement, Sarah posted a tweet thanking the designer of her dress for the outfit worn on her daughter's big day last Friday. She then posted three further messages saying how proud she was of her daughter and new son in law Jack Brooks Bank, but made no mention of Harry and Meghan. Eugenie's father, the Duke of York, who wished his ex-wife Sarah a very happy day on her birthday today, also retweeted one of Sarah's tweets featuring Eugenie and Jack. Prince Andrew also made no mention of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's news. But the Clarence House Twitter account, which represents the Prince of Wales and Duchess of Cornwall, did retweet the Kensington Palace baby announcement. Senior royals attending Eugenie's wedding at Windsor Castle last Friday were told by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle that they were expecting their first child. It comes after Prince Andrew rejected calls from within Buckingham Palace for a more modest wedding for Eugenie and Jack amid concerns about their public cost. Eugenie and Jack's wedding last Friday was a lavish and star-studded affair, with celebrities from Robbie Williams to Demi Moore and Naomi Campbell to Pixie Geldof. Harry and Meghan were wed at the same chapel in another impressive wedding in May, and their news emerged as their first tour outside the UK and Ireland begins. The couple arrived in Sydney today ahead of their hotly anticipated 16-day tour which will take in Australia, New Zealand, Fiji, and Tonga. Eugenie's star-studded two-day event garnered huge media attention, but many have questioned whether the minor royals occasion warranted such extravagance. It is thought royal aides were concerned about public reaction to the extravagant celebrations, which cost the taxpayer pounds two million, and suggested toning it down. But it was revealed yesterday that Prince Andrew rejected calls from within Buckingham Palace for a more modest wedding for Eugenie and Jack. Palace sources said it was the Duke of York who insisted his daughter take a carriage ride through Windsor, mimicking Harry and Meghan earlier this year. Speaking ahead of Eugenie's wedding last Friday, her father Prince Andrew, Duke of York, talked about how it would be very different to Harry and Meghan's big day. He told ITV's this morning, it will not be the same as the previous one that was held in May. It's not a public wedding, this is meant to be a family wedding. There will be a few more people than most people have. There are a few more than Harry had but that's just the nature of Eugenie and Jack. They've got so many friends and they need a church of that size to fit them all in. Minor royal weddings in the past have been short and held in private a stark contrast to celebrations over the weekend. Among them was when Princess Margaret's daughter Lady Sarah Armstrong Jones, the Queen's niece, tied the knot to Daniel Chatto in 1994. Their service at St. Stephen Walbrook Church in the City of London lasted just 30 minutes and 200 guests were invited. But Eugenie handed out 1,400 invitations. The Queen, the Duke of Edinburgh, the Prince of Wales, the Duchess of Cornwall and Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are said to be delighted for Harry and Meghan. Doria Ragland, the mother of the Duchess, is very happy about this lovely news and looks forward to welcoming her first grandchild. A Kensington Palace spokesman said, Their Royal Highnesses the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are very pleased to announce that the Duchess of Sussex is expecting a baby in the spring of 2019. Their Royal Highnesses have appreciated all of the support they have received from people around the world since their wedding in May and are delighted to be able to share this happy news with the public. Last Friday, Eugenie shared two shy kisses on the west steps of St. George's Chapel with her new husband Jack after their lavish royal wedding ceremony. The couple tentatively performed the kisses for the cameras on the steps, which were decorated with masses of autumn flowers and lined with grenadier guards. After their afternoon reception in Windsor Castle, Jack drove Eugenie away in a silver DB10 Aston Martin sports car. The wedding drew in a peak of 3.9 million on ITV.